हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक ग्रेड टेन मैथमेटिक्स लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स पार्ट टू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वेरियस मैथड्स ऑफ सॉल्विंग लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स ग्राफिकल मैथड सब्सटीट्यूशन मैथड एंड एलिमिनेशन मैथड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस लर्न ग्राफिकल मैथड ग्राफिकल मैथड इज वेरी नाइस वे टू विजुअलाइज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स first question that i picked up is solve the given system of equations graphically 2x minus 3y is equal to 5 3x plus 4y is equal to minus 1 and determine whether they have a unique solution or infinitely many solutions as in ninth class we have learned how to create tables for plotting the graphs for these equations we are going to follow the same method 2x minus 3y is equal to 5 it can be written as 2x is equal to 5 plus 3y which implies x is equal to 5 plus 3y upon 2 what have i done here i have converted x into a dependent variable and y is a independent variable why because values of x will depend on the values of y so i will assume some values of y and then calculate the values of x so this is the solution box that i have got for this equation secondly we take this equation 3x plus 4y is equal to minus 1 which implies 3x is equal to minus 1 minus 4y which implies x is equal to minus 1 minus 4y upon 3 again i have converted x into a dependent variable and y is independent then i assume these values of y and substitute here and then i am able to get these values of x after that i will plot the graphs on plotting the graphs i get this situation that both the graphs they are intersecting each other at one point this point of intersection is called the solution of the equations since the lines are intersecting at one point the system of equations has unique solution and the solution is 1 comma minus 1 remember few things here in examination it is important to write all these points which i am marking here x x dash y y dash this is y and this is y dash remember to mark the points with circles and then write their coordinates properly after you have drawn the graphs it is mandatory that you should be writing the equation over the graph next equation that i have taken solve graphically and check whether the given system is consistent or inconsistent let us devise consistent means it has a solution inconsistent means no solution So the set of equations now taken is x minus two y is equal to zero and three x minus six y is equal to zero. So from using this equation, I get this table of values. Put x is equal to zero, y will be zero. Put x is equal to two, you will get y is equal to one. You put y is equal to minus two, and you x is equal to minus two, and you get y is equal to minus. One. Similarly, here three x minus six y is equal to zero gives me this set of solutions. On plotting, I notice that I get a get this graph for both the equations. The lines are coincident over each other, right? So it means it has infinitely many solutions. whatever value of x and y will satisfy this equation will also satisfy this in short we can write the system is consistent the lines overlap each other and they have infinite number of solutions now let us learn substitution method check whether the given system of equations has unique solution then find the solution by using substitution method here a1 upon a2 is equal to 2 upon 1 b1 upon b2 is equal to minus 1 upon 2 that is a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 therefore the system will have unique solution 
Now, what is the method? For substitution method, first of all, we number these equations as 1 and number 2. Then from number 1, I will take out the value of y as 2x minus 1. Put this value of y in number 2. So, I get x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 is equal to 13, which implies x plus 4, 4x minus 2 is equal to 13, which implies 5x is equal to 15. This gives me x is equal to 3. Now, substitute this value of x in equation number 1. So, this gives me 2 into 3 minus y is equal to 1, which implies 6 minus y is equal to 1. Or 6 minus 1 is equal to y, which means y is equal to 5. Hence, what is the solution? Hence, 3 comma 5 is the required solution of this set of equations next question now we will in the next question we are going to learn elimination method elimination method as the name suggests we will be eliminating one of the variables and then calculating the second variable the set of equations taken is 6x minus y plus 4 is equal to 0 and 2x minus 5y is equal to 8 number the equations 1 and 2 and also you must make sure that these equations are written in same form like here in this one I have converted it as 6x minus y is equal to minus 4 that is I have taken the constant term on this side and in the second equation also the constant term is on right hand side so now they are similar now we will multiply number 2 by number 3 why? Because I want to make the variables, the coefficients of the variable x same. So, I multiply the whole equation by 3, which gives me 6, <coughs> 6x minus 15y is equal to 24. And then this equation has to be subtracted from it. So, I will subtract 6x minus y is equal to minus 4. Change the signs. 6x and 6x will get cancelled. And here I will have minus 14y is equal to 28, which implies y is equal to 28 upon minus 14, which is equal to minus 2. Now put this value of y in number 1. This implies 6x minus minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 0, which implies 6x is equal to minus 6 implies x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 comma minus 2 is the solution of the given set of equations. Thank you.